The Battle of Col de Val d'Elsa took place between 16 and 17 June 1269 at Col de Val d'Elsa between the Ghibelline troops of Siena and the Guelph, troops of Charles of Anjou and Florence, represented by fewer than 200 knights commanded by Neri de Bardi. Background After the Battle of Monte Perta where Siena, a Ghibelline city, defeated Guelph Florence on 4 September 1260, Col Valdelsa found itself in the Guelph camp. Indeed, Col had ended up as a centre for many former citizens of Siena who, finding themselves on the wrong side, had been persecuted and driven into exile by Siena's dominant Ghibelline party. On 27 August 1268 yet another battle took place on the edge of Rome between King Charles of Anjou, rushing to the defence of the Pope, and Conradine leading a Ghibelline army. The outcome was a Guelph victory, but the Ghibellines, despite the defeat, continued their persecution of Guelphs and took possession of the castle of Olignano. Then the surrounding municipalities decided to attack the castle and chase the fugitives to Pisa and Poggi Bonsai, until the bulk of the Ghibelline militias found themselves within the walls of Siena and Pisa. The battle in June 1269, Captain Provenzano Salvini and Count Guido Novello left Siena with 1,400 knights and 8,000 infantry from Siena, Pisa, Germany, Spain, Florentine exiles and other Tuscans, camping in the Bardia Plateau near the Spuna Abbey. The coal inhabitants, who did not expect this siege, locked themselves up between the fortifications of Coal Altar and sent messengers to seek help from Florence. The next day, 400 French horse under the command of Marshal Gamberto Aldo, vicar of King Charles of Anjou in Tuscany, arrived in Col Val d'Elsa followed by another contingent of 400 Florentine horse. The Florentine foot, except for a fraction, did however not arrive in time for the battle. During the night the marshal lined the French over the walls of Col Alta and conquered the Ghibelline castle inside Col. Next morning, the Ghibelline tower signalled the approach of troops sent from Florence, and ordered the trumpets to be sounded and people to shout loudly to persuade the Ghibellines that combat troops were many more than they expected. It seems that the trick worked, because in the early morning the Ghibellines retreated to San Masiala and remained on the hill Poggio Ibersa. Marshal Gamberto Aldo ordered the coal militias to get around that hill and to remain hidden until the moment he appeared with the insignia of Florence in front of the Siena troops and attacked them. During his advance the marshal tore down the bridge of San Masiala to prevent a retreat of his soldiers but also to slow down the escape of Siena. Once in sight of the Ghibellines, Gamberto Aldo started the battle while coal inhabitants were shouting and waving their weapons. Weapons, giving the feeling that more troops were waiting to attack. Captain Salvini threatened, promised compensation and shouted, but the Ghibelline soldiers fought only briefly and badly, retired soon and fled. Many were hunted down and killed by the Guelphs, while Salvini, not wanting to return to Siena defeated, threw himself into the fray and was killed by Regalino Ptolemy, his sworn enemy. Aftermath Jaberto Aldo had managed, with only 800 horsemen and 300 infantry of coal, to cunningly defeat an army of no less than 9,400 men. All this happened under the eyes of Provenzano's paternal aunt Sapia Salvini of Siena, sung by Dante's Divine Comedy, who followed the battle, praying for the defeat of her countrymen. Bibliography